what I'm gonna use to make this uh, sunflower wreath. I bought a package of white textured cardstock. Now, if you can find that in yellow, you can omit the paint step. So I couldn't find yellow, so I just bought white and I'm gonna paint it. A paintbrush for the paint, glue sticks, some scissors, a piece of jute. It's, this is what I'm gonna hang it with. My hot glue gun. I'm, my circles are 12 inches, and I'll show you as we get going why I'm gonna use two. And then some, this is shipping paper. I've just torn it up and crinkled it up real good. And those are the things that I'm gonna use to make this wreath. Now, like I said, if I had had yellow paper, I could omit this painting part, but I'm gonna run paint it and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I've got all of my paper painted yellow. This took me about 30 minutes and I painted it on both sides. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, because of the size I want mine, these are 12, these sheets are 12 inches by 12 inches. That's bigger than I want and I'll, I know I want it real full, so I'm gonna cut all of mine in half. I'm not measuring, it's just, I ball it. It doesn't have to be exact. If you're one of those people that needs it to be exact, by all means measure it. But um, I, I'm not. So I'm just gonna cut all these in half. Okay guys, I had, I started with 40 squares. So now I have 80 of these and I am going to start hot gluing them together. We're gonna to make it look like this. You can make this, you know, right across here, you can make it, you know, really wide or you can make it really skinny, whatever you want it to look like. We're gonna hot glue those and uh, I'll show you how I, I do it. I, I just take the sides and then I come around, oops, and then I squeeze it down, I squeeze it tight at the bottom to get it into the shape that I want. Like that. Oops, it's not tight enough. See, I, I like mine a little bit tighter at the bottom. So you just work it around until it's in the shape that you want it, and that's about what I want. So I'm gonna just touch it right here with a little bit of hot glue, and then just stick it down. And there you have your little paper petal. All right. I'm gonna do that about 78 more times. I'm gonna take and hot glue my two circles together just to kind of make it a little bit more sturdy. But when I do, I'm gonna put this piece of jute in here. Actually, I'm gonna tie just a little bit of a knot, just a, not a little bit, I'm just gonna tie a small knot to kind of give the glue something to hold on to. And I'm going to glue this in here so that I can hang this wreath. I'll have a way to hang it like that. And then I'm just gonna glue it. I'm gonna glue the two together just for more support. Next, we're gonna take our little cone things that we just glued 50 million of them together, and we're gonna start gluing them around the outside edge of this circle. Oops, let me get some more glue. I'm just gonna put a little glue here on the back, and I'm just gonna go all the way 
around the outside of this circle. You can, uh, this is where like you can put them just at the edge. You can, this is how you can adjust the size of your wreath. Make it as big or as small as you want. And that will uh, determine too, your cone size will determine how big this is gonna be. Now, on this next row, we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna try to come in just a little bit. You're gonna bring it in. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to get up here with the glue so it don't stick down there. You wanna come in just a little bit to give yourself another layer of the cones. Now I'm gonna take some of my brown paper that I've got just wadded up. And I'm gonna wad it up even more. And I'm gonna make the center of my flower out of that. I'm gonna hot glue it so it'll stay in place. I'm gonna put some glue all in here to secure it. Now I want my center to be just a little bit darker, so I'm gonna give it a little touch of some of this paint. I'm gonna paint, I probably should have done this before I made the wreath, but you know that would have called for planning ahead, and I didn't, I just did this as I went. So let me paint this just a little bit, and then I'll show you what it looks like. And that's what it looks like finished, guys. <laughs> looks like a big old sunflower. Even though I was even though I was winging it while I was making it, I, I really like how it turned out. Um, I actually ended up having about 20 of the uh, petals left over, so I could do another one if I wanted to, but I don't. But yeah.